In this video, we will look at a quotation. Now, what is a quotation? This is a document that businesses give clients when they ask for prices. All right, so in this document, we see that there is a business name, a telephone number, address. We can even have an email address here. And we also know that there's a quotation number. Now, each quotation that's um, given to a client or business is unique. And this is just for them to keep proof of what they said or evidence and um, to just remember what they said the prices were for the specific person. Now, you'll also see that there will be a client or business name. This is because you need the specifics. You need to know who this quotation is going to because you might have just given this person a specific discount. So there their number would be. Okay. Now, when you look at the items, you see that um, this person wanted to know the price for fencing and that's seven meters and cupboards. And he wanted two, two of those rolls of fence and five cupboards of that size. Now, let's start with the fencing and you'll see it's 7,100 and he bought two. And now the total price is what we have to calculate. So we want to calculate A. You'll see that if I want the total price of anything, I'm going to have to say the amount multiplied by the price per unit. Okay, so in our case, the amount is 7,000, sorry, the amount is two, and the price is 7,100, and when you get your answer, you'll see it's 14,200. Let me also write it in there by the A. Okay, next, we look at cupboards, cupboards, they five of them of that size and we don't know the price per cupboard but we know in total um, it'll cost this person 4,000 Rand. So if I now want B, I'm going to have to say I want the price per unit. In order to get that I need to divide. So I'm going to say the total price divided by the amount. And the total price is 4,000 for five of these units and that brings it to 800 rand so b is 800 okay now we get to the subtotal 18,200 and that gives you another way to have um, that you could have calculated a because if i say that 14,200 plus 4,000 it should give me 18,200 so that's just another way you could have calculated your subtotal and then they ask us to determine VAT on your subtotal. Okay, so let's start on a fresh, fresh page and we say C, if I want the VAT, VAT is 15% of the amount, in our case, the subtotal. So I'm going to say 15 over 100 of can be replaced by a multiplication sign and the subtotal is 18,200. Now, when I find the answer, I see that it's 2,730. I'm also going to write that in there, 2,730. Now, if you want your D, your total amount, let's write D there. That's basically just add your subtotal and your VAT. Okay, so our subtotal amount was 18,200. And our VAT was 2730. When you add that, remember your RAND sign, you get 20,930. Okay, and then there's one last thing that we need to note here. They say prices are valid for 14 days only. This could be the case because, remember, prices can always increase afterwards, after, this 40, after these 14 days. Why? Because maybe due to inflation or um, there could be a shortage of stock and it's difficult to get a hold of that stock so they increase the prices or this person or this business could have gotten a discount and that's not going to last forever and they can't do it for everyone so that's why prices on quotations are not valid for very long times. Okay, 
That's the end of the video. Please remember to share, like, subscribe and become part of the Whiteboard SA team.